Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early Marvin G. Shields, born December 30th, 1939 in Port Townsend, Washington, enlisted in the Navy January 8th, 1962. After construction training, he served with Mobile Construction Battalion 11 and then with CB Team 1104 at Dong Zhuai, South Vietnam, June 10th, 1965, when a Viet Cong regiment attacked. And the home of the brave. There's been a lot of talk uh, in the last few years about bands of brothers and bands of brothers. And I, I think the CB teams and the other members will bear me out. We were a, a, a band of brothers. And there's a term in the Navy and Marine Corps, it used to be a term called hard chargers. Marvin Shields was a hard charger. After being wounded, Shields continued to carry ammunition to the firing line and after receiving a second wound, insisted on helping a more severely wounded Captain Bill Stokes, a Green Beret, to safety. He didn't do halfway on anything. Marvin Shields had been a professional lumberjack. He could make a chainsaw, sit up and dance. He was a good, good, good mechanic. He was an excellent camp cook. Uh, he did more cooking for us, I guess, than anybody else. He was really good at it, you know. Uh, he, he's he kind of a, a, a man for all seasons. Refusing to consider himself and now greatly weakened, he again exposed himself to enemy fire, volunteering to help knock out a machine gun which had the entire camp pinned down. I'm not sure about how important it is to remember Marv. I think it's more important to remember what the Seabees did. And one of the things I would say is that 1104 was the team that was there. But you could take any other number and put that team in there. And the only thing you do in the history books is change the name. It would be a very short edit. The things that were accomplished would be the same. The things that were done would be the same. There would be no difference in any of that because that's what we were trained to do. Shields died from wounds he received after he and others succeeded in destroying an enemy machine gun emplacement, thus undoubtedly saving the lives of many of his fellow servicemen in the compound. Well, he w was just doing everything he could do to help everybody there in order to defeat the enemy. And the first thing he thought of was had to get to that ammo that was on fire and get some of that ammunition and get it to people after he was injured already. He posthumously received the Medal of Honor September 13, 1966. I would think Marvin would say that, uh, you know, he really didn't do anything but what he would normally do. And he would also say that every member of that team did what they had to do too.